We're just over 12 hours from a polarizing event, the giveaway of a million dollars in gas. Some are thrilled with the generous gesture. Others fear a repeat of this. Long lines, chaos, and gridlock when businessman Willie Wilson offers up the free fill-ups. CBS 2's Tara Molina is live at one of the stations where cars will be lined up tomorrow morning. Tara. Erica, one of 19 here in Chicago with 28 more spread throughout the suburbs, all in areas where Willie Wilson says he heard from people interested in a giveaway. But we learned some of those communities not so interested. Long lines and chaotic traffic with many waiting hours for their $50 fill up. But at the last gas giveaway in Chicago, I am feeling so great right now with this $50. Drivers we talked to called it all worth it. It's the suburbs involved this second time around questioning worthiness. I feel stressed. <laughs> and that's why the latest list of gas giveaway locations has a few gaps in it, with some suburban stations or ownership groups like Thornton's backing out of the event over traffic concerns and manpower costs. We're going to shut down several of these side streets. The police chief in Alsip told us it would cost them about $10,000 in overtime to direct traffic, suggesting gas cards instead of mass giveaways to avoid all that. Dr. Willie Wilson's response? Don't know why I tell me how to spend my money. You do the gas card, people come up with counterfeit gas card, and it just doesn't work right. You know, this way I know that the people that can get in the gas they won't replace any of the locations that have quit the giveaway to prevent confusion, but say their team is ready with 200 people set to help pump gas at these locations starting at 7 Thursday. Here in Chicago, city officials tell me they don't know how much the 19 giveaway locations managed by Chicago police and city traffic control will end up costing taxpayers, but they're prepared. Cars can line up for $50 of gas each, but they'll need a sticker to move forward, marking their spot in line. And they'll need to follow the guidance of traffic control aides that will be out at all 19 stations. I reached all of the communities where these giveaways are happening tomorrow, and so far we've heard back from a number of them a lot of information on traffic enforcement and traffic control. So we've compiled all of that and put it up on our website. So whether you're interested in these giveaways or you're just going to be out on the roads, you're prepared. Reporting live in Bronzeville, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. All right, Tara, thank you.